Thank you, Martha, for your introduction. I am delighted to provide opening remarks to the panel that will discuss tools for diversifying emer emerging and smaller farms. This is an important topic to me for a number of reasons. First, it has been the goal of my office, the Office of Minority and Women Inclusion, to increase diversity among our regulating entities. Although smaller firms often do not have to register with the SEC, increased diversity in the industry, I hope, will have the effect upstream to those larger SEC registered firms. The SEC has been collecting diversity assessments of regulating entities, diversity policies and procedures every two years, starting in 2018. In 2020, the SEC invited nearly 1,200 entities to provide responses on a voluntary basis to our collection tool, the Diversity Assessment Report, and 13.5 responded, an increase of over 8% from our 2018 survey. Of those responding, 85% have a written, indicated that they have a written diversity and inclusion policy. 75% include diversity and inclusion goals and performance management plans of its managers. Second, this topic is of, of particular importance to me because more work to increase diversity among providers of capital is greatly needed. Research has shown that pattern matching persists and needs to be addressed. Funders are 21% more likely to be funded by an investor of the same ethnicity than a different ethnicity. Lack of diversity among capital allocators means that diverse funding teams struggle to get capital. Minorities remain underrepresented in the venture capital industry, accounting for only 24% of its workforce and 20% of venture capital investment partners. I look forward to the discussion today and the ideas our panelists and audience has to improve diversity among our capital allocators. Thank you and enjoy the discussion.